Hello everybody, welcome back to uh, the Mekong Cast, episode uh, 31. I am, uh, sorry, it's my mic stand. Should have adjusted it before I recorded, but I'm always, my, my mic stand's kind of broken. I've, I've had it for a while now. I really need to get a new mic stand. I need to get a new mic in general. This is not bad, but I can do better than this. Um, I'm going to get more money. <sighs> I don't have a ton of money right now. Um, yeah, here we go. Um, I'm, I'm officially uh, dropping the It's a Wrap part. It was just, eh. I wasn't feeling it, man. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add something. Uh, no, no matter what the meat kind cast gonna be a part of it. I'm, I'm either gonna put a something, like, like something, um, uh, the meat kind cast. You know, like I did, like it's a rap. Um, then the meat kind cast. Or I might do like, the meat kind cast and something else. I don't know. Um, I want it to be more than just the meat kind cast. Um. I, I want it to stand out at least a little bit, you know, but I, I don't I don't want just like some like quirky um uh, name just for the sake of it being quirky. I want it to kind of relate to uh to the podcast a lot more, and I'm I'm still kind of figuring out um uh, what I'm doing on this podcast. Also, I, I just talk about things I want to talk about, but like I'm I'm still I'm still I'm still I'm uh, just con- continuing to go to see what it really ends up um molding into you know because that'll definitely be a, a part of it so for now we're just the meat can cast you know working title working my whole channel is a work in progress like, well, i mean any channel is. You, you, you always want to make updates and uh, keep things uh, different or interesting so that's what i'm doing but i do want to get once like a solid name to keep for as long as i do it i just want to make sure i'm completely good on it that was always iffy on the original title i'm putting it to rap because like it, it, it i don't know it's just it just sounds quirky i guess and different but it doesn't really mean anything I just wanted something, some kind of like, it was just filler words, pretty much. Um, I'll like give the Mekong cast. That's already kind of generic enough, but they, who even cares about names? I mean, like, like so the, the A Street Podcast, my favorite. They're, they're just called the A Street Podcast, but I don't know. They're, they're already solidified. Um, uh, they're already very solidified people when they uh, did the podcast. So it's not like they need uh, to stand out. All they can do is just attach their YouTube name to it. To respect, because again, the title really is nothing to do. It's the content that matters. But if you're someone like me, you need someone that that, that stands out like a little bit, just just, just a little bit. Because I mean, look at your boy, um, 106 subscribers. I've been doing this, been doing this shit for four years. Um, you know, again, I'm, I'm not stressing because it, it, it's just it's just a fun hobby and pastime. I'm not, I, I I don't want to uh do YouTube as a prof- as a profession. Um. But uh, I, 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 I do want to have a semi-successful podcast. That'd be really cool. Um, kind of a, as, as like a side thing, you know? Yeah. I, I, my mic just fell off, dude. Um, but yeah, no, it's episode 31. Um, episode... Thir- I, all right, so um, today... Okay. Let me, let, me, let me do my little thing. It's currently uh, 4.50 p.m. on uh, Wednesday, August 25th of 2021. Uh... We recorded it uh, a couple of days ago, um, but I just today uploaded the, uh, t- you know, today, August 20th, I, I uploaded the Amikon cast that I did uh, w- with, uh, of course, my uh, my best friend, one of my best friends, Zach, who's been on multiple times. We had a great episode. We talked a bunch about, uh, like, uh, Spider-Man, Suicide Squad, and kind of just uh, comic book movies and, sh- and comic book shows in general. Um, that was a really cool episode we talked about bit about spider-man which we're gonna talk even more about today um they're talking about, you know like i said suicide squad all, all, all that cool shit right um but yeah we're here and i um this won't be uploaded for another couple days usually i wait uh, a week you know you, you, I, ideally the plan would be to do one episode a week um, but I don't want to wait a week to release this, so I'm just going to put it out, like, in a couple of days, like, Friday or something, I guess, uh, I don't know, I, I'm just going to have two podcasts, uh, only, like, a couple of days away from each other, and I'm okay with that, because I don't want to wait, and who cares, because I, I want to talk, I want to get this, this shit about, uh, about Spider-Man out there, I guess even as possible, you know, I, I, I don't want to wait, so, fuck it two podcasts in a row very close to it i'm so i'm surprised i'm doing this i i feel like um i think i'm about to get on a, on a on a pretty solid uh podcast kick soon you know i was, I was on a good streaming kick for a while and I'll, I'll i'll get back into that into that whole world uh pretty soon 
I, I definitely uh, have a I have a couple of stream I have a stream series in mind. I'm just I'm gonna just do a sleeping dog series. I don't want to do anything uh, too crazy, you know. I don't want to start looking again. I'm, I'm just gonna go back to the basics and play my favorite game of all time, a live stream series that I've been wanting to do for a minute. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be I'll be starting that up at some point in the near future. Um, I know for sure that's what I'm gonna do next. I just don't know when I'm gonna do it, but. I want to get more. I want to. I want to really start grinding out this podcast shit, kind of, because it's really fun. Uh, so yeah, here we go. We, we each have another another nice solo episode. It kind of would be nice to talk about uh, the Spider-Man shit with someone. I was talking to Zach for like a couple hours, uh, like hour and a half, something like that. Uh, b- 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 before I started recording, we were talking on Discord call, but I didn't do a podcast because I mean I'm not you know I'm not gonna do one every time we talk because we don't. Um, we don't do that, and you know he he had he had, uh, he had some some shit to do in a little bit, so I don't want to get too deep into a podcast. Um, but hey, I'm here to talk about Spider Man to whoever um uh, may listen. Kind of worried that uh, no one's I'm kind of scared this is gonna get like three views and all this talking is gonna be for nothing. But um, it's something to me. It's something to me at the very least. If I don't have a, if no one cares, at least I care, right? I, pr- I promise. I promise. That, that that was not to get pity. I do not want pity. Just from I'm, I'm just commenting on the fact that I'll be probably be talking for a while and for about a lot of things, and no one's really gonna listen. And that's fine, because uh, it, it it's just it's just how it is. Just looking at uh, looking at uh, my views and part of part is because I because I don't really promote yet. I'm still working on that. Um, so don't 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 take that as complaining. I I, I know. I'm 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 just I'm simply stating. I'm simply stating how it is, and uh, that's that. That's just really how it is. So, ba boom, uh, man, this is fun, isn't it? This is fun to just be able to talk about whatever I want. Um, as you can see, we, we have the two little the couple a couple a couple Spider Men on screen, and there's an obvious reason for that. Uh, yeah. I really, I really want to get this podcast big, man. It's like, uh, it's not like my number one dream, but it's one of my dreams to like, I, I, I want to go on like, uh, on someone's podcast. You know, like, I, like my dream podcast to go on are um, uh, a history podcast, of course, your mom's house, and uh, like Tiger Belly. You know, those are the podcasts I want to, I want to, I want to go on. They're all like comedians' podcasts. You know, Tiger Belly, Bobby Lee, um, is. Uh, a really great comedian is partner Kalila. She's cool. I was like watching podcasts um, with them. Tiger Belly's a great podcast. Um, obviously, your mom's house, Tom Segura, uh, and Christina P. That's 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 you know, and of course H three. Those those, those 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 are my dream podcasts to go on. So I'm singing it now. If when you guys somehow hear this, uh, <laughs> reach out if you want to have a guy with a hundred hundred six subscribers. On YouTube, on your podcast, that gets uh, very low podcast views. Hit me up. I'm a, I, 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 I could be a, a very interesting guest. And I was thinking about that earlier. It'd be cool to one day, I'm uh, go on their podcast. Big, big dream. I'm, 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 I'm just, just throwing it out there. Just putting it out there into the universe. That's all. That's all. That'd be great. I kind, I kind of want to go on. Um, uh, no, I don't. Know. I don't have a preference. I, I just feel like H three podcast is not as likely because they they see, they see a lot of guests and they really haven't lately. I mean, they I mean they do have like guests in on their on their like um uh, Friday live uh, podcast after dark, but like it's usually just like call ins from people who come in and talk for like a few minutes. It's not and, you know it's, I I I kind of miss like the full um uh, whole guest episodes, but it is still it is still COVID season. They're 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 still doing a lot. Um. So I understand that, but it'd be cool one day if they ever get back into guests. Your boy, uh, your boy Mekon will be on. I don't really want to have people on my podcast. That's too much pressure. I just want to go on other people's podcasts and have fun there. But if someone wanted to come on mine, I would gladly do it. I, I do want to get more experience anyways, but only way to do it is just keep doing it, keep pumping out episodes, you know? That's all we can do. Yeah, love those podcasts. There are a bunch of other communities podcasts I have to go on, you know. Like, you know, someone like Theo Vaughn. He's great. Bert Kreischer, you know. I don't know. I was just thinking about that. I'm like, damn. That's that's, that's kind of my dream in podcasting is to do that one day. 
God, because I, 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 cause I was watching like um, uh, H, um, I was watching some of the H three and Bobby Lee podcast. I was watching when Ethan and Hila, you know, H three when, when they went on Tiger Belly earlier. <sighs> Great episode. I, 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 I just love seeing uh, really funny people. Um, two different people that are really like come together and have like a really funny uh conversation. You know, like like uh, like Bobby Lee, Tom Segura, whenever, um, I h3 and uh tom segura or just your mom's house whenever they have a podcast crossover that's always the best i love watching shit like that <sighs> that's all what else is going on man in the world um obviously i mean there's one big thing obvious but we're we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit all right um dude Go oh, yeah, Gamescon is going on. It's it's kind of like um, uh, it's not as big as something like E three or the Game Awards, but like it's still it's, it's a it's a respectable game uh game event. But I've, I've never watched it. I just, I just I just see what trends on Twitter. I'm seeing like Far Cry Six is coming out uh, soon. That's cool. Like a Star Wars game got pushed back to 2022. I don't fucking know. Yeah, Far Cry Six, October seventh, 2021. Yeah, the graphics the graphics look a little weird for some reason. Not, not bad, but I don't know. It looks like they look a little rougher than five, which is weird. I don't know how that works, but maybe maybe it doesn't translate well over what they're showing. Now. Maybe it'll be a lot better if you know once I boot it into PS Five. Um, should be a cool game though, dude. COVID. I, I I saw so like, I saw some crazy shit the other day, um, something about uh like Australia like the COVID um uh, I don't know the, 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 there's a weird situation with COVID in Australia because they've always been really good with their what their fucking um hmm. Sorry, I saw something that distracted me. I'm a great podcaster, can't you tell? So, pretty much. Um, COVID has always been pretty tame in Australia because, like, they like they learned how to, like, to put that shit down. Like, they did do, like, some pretty, like, uh, strict lockdowns. Um, same place as, like, uh, New Zealand. Um, I get it. No one likes, you know, like, like a lockdown that severe. Like, you know, you 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 have these right wing morons in the U.S. thinking that um uh, what we have is is tyranny, you know, and it's like we we're doing like the very bare minimum, which is not enough. Like, you guys could be like in Australia or New Zealand, like you know having more strict lockdowns, which I'm I'm for, I'm for. We have strict lockdowns because you don't have to do it for that long. It's it's only like 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 a like like a couple of weeks typically, depending on how bad it is, you know. Because like the average time to, for when someone can from from when someone gets COVID and can spread it usually goes away. But like two weeks is like the safe point, um, the general safe point. Uh, it's like you, <laughs> that's the thing. Like even what they're doing with those strict lockdowns, I don't think is bad. Because guess what? It works. Because guess guess which countries have super low COVID cases, Australia and New Zealand. You know countries who are doing things like that. But uh, apparently there there's been like there there's been some small outbreaks in Australia recently, and there was some kind of like anti mask, just general anti COVID anti vax type rally, and apparently got pretty ugly. Apparently like. Uh, officers there were um uh, were getting pretty uh a bunch of people got arrested and apparently some officers got uh got violent with uh like a little too violent with people and while these people are complete morons and they're idiots and i think they they should I, i'm for arresting them to be real if they're if, if they're if they're causing and spin spreading the disease i'm not i'm not saying like send them, like to jail I'm just saying, like, maybe, like, find them or or something. Even though I think they're morons, I'm not... I don't think you should be locked away for, like, several years for this. You just need to, you know... You, you should need to do what you need to do to be safe and maybe get fined and learn, and, and, and learn a lesson or something. But, obviously, I, I, I haven't seen too much about it, but obviously I, I don't support, you know, like, violence. You know, there definitely is a line where, where, where officers um over there definitely need to, to to tone it down like you don't need to like be like beat up or be too violent I, that, that's something 
I, I've always, you know, you know, you know, fuck the police, a cab, right? I'm all for that, but Jesus, they need to calm down over there. They can't be, even though the citizen, even though the people that they're being violent towards are morons, it doesn't justify, you know, like aggressively hurting them. Just like maybe like arrest them. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck the right thing is, but yeah, it's fucked up. I, I just don't like people using um these officers being like um uh, too violent as a as a as an excuse or or a reason to be even more anti COVID, you know? Like a- anti mask and all that. People always take things like the wrong way. They're like, Oh, well these officers are um uh, doing this so it gives me more of a reason to be it's like yeah, what they're doing is too much. They're being too aggressive, but that doesn't change the fact that you're a moron for not an imbecile numbskull you know I'm trying to think of some more um weird old timey insults like that you knucklehead you moron I don't know you get the point fucking idiots you could say I don't know well, whatever you want to say ah <sighs> I don't know, and I saw I, I saw I saw some article that apparently, the that the Austrian government that 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 they're that that they're like sh- like they're they're like shooting like sh- like stray dogs or just dogs that could care, do the possibility of them carrying COVID, and while I you know, like you know like I said I I'm a leftist I I am a you know pro mask pro pro vaccine until until this shit's gone right, um obviously, that if that that a whole um uh, dog thing, that's obviously you know way too far that that's that, that's that's not okay they're they're definitely fucking up if they're really shooting like dogs you know just because they get carried COVID. that's i'll condemn that heavily i i, I think that's too for COVID because i i get it it's possible that dogs can but it's, it's it's so rare we don't need to fucking end an animal like come on uh look i'll i'll, I'll all i know is what i've seen from scrolling through twitter let me let me see if there's anything else. Australia is trending right now. What else is going on in that situation? So we're condemned them now. We are then. Huh? Damn, how bad is it getting over there? Government of Australia first disarmed its its uh, citizenry. Let's see, you know they're arresting ten jail for eight months. For organizing a protest on Facebook. Maybe they are going to jail. I don't. Hmm. This is such a weird situation. To be honest. I don't know. I I, 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 I go through the. Uh, the. Uh, the trending tab it's just a bunch of like conservatives just 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 saying shit like oh look what they're doing it's absolute tyranny it's like yeah they might be going too far in some aspects but in general they're they're really not like like uh for a lot of certain aspects are i feel like they're definitely going too far and others they're not because um this is the only way to literally contain this disease it's been proved to fucking work so I don't know. Don't be fucking anti-mask, okay? Just that's not right. I I I I just I I just fixed COVID. I just fixed COVID right there. So yeah, that that, that that's a crazy ass situation. God, I, I felt so confident going to this podcast. What am, what am I doing? All right, I need to get it together. I need to get it together. I I, I was talking for a while before this, so maybe I'm a little I'm I'm a, I'm a little talked out. You know what I mean? A little, a little exhausted from talking. It's all good, bro. Spider Man, no way home. Look, just the podcast a couple of days ago means like we're talking a lot about it, um, because and the reason we're talking about, it, I think I said on the podcast was because um uh, the trailer was a uh, rumored to have been dropped very soon, and it, it was starting to leak, um uh, like that night actually um 
so a, a trailer at that point what was print what was like right around the corner and it came out literally just the other day dude um what was the exact day it came out monday two days ago did we record the podcast one day or did we record it sunday me, me, me and zach's i don't know but either way the, the trailer came out two days ago the official teaser trailer or whatever for a spider-man no way home um it's been people have been wanting about it people have been anticipating it for a long ass time because marvel they usually put out trailers for movies like they you don't they don't usually don't wait um uh um this long to do it and i think a big reason was because of all the insane rumors around the movie because you know the the, the the big thing for a while is that oh the next spider movie um no way home is it's going to be like a, a multiverse movie um and lo and behold it is <laughs> so we can definitely see why they waited because they wanted they definitely wanted to build up they they wanted to the internet to definitely like explode and talk about it for a while is it's it's it, it, it's it's a good uh it's definitely a, a good mark uh marketing strategy for sure i think at least i feel like it was i feel like because they they, they 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 just don't wait this long they they really just do not wait this long um when it came out just a couple days ago and holy shit i i'm excited i i've been watching this non-stop since it uh since i dropped i've been watching reactions to it i've been i've been watching uh analysis you know trailer i've been watching a bunch of an- trailer analysis an- analysis is trailer analysis i know the word i don't know how, how do you say it it's like a s at the end trailer analysis i watched a trailer analysis video i guess i only watched one i watched a trailer analysis video about it um probably gonna watch a couple more you know there's not much really to uh analyze from what i've already seen from what i already know i think i've seen all the little easter eggs and potential hints and all that um but still i want to be hyped for this for a while it comes out december so we we still have a few months and they said and they said official teaser trailer so i feel like we are gonna get another trailer for it i kind of don't want there to be one but if and if they do i don't want if i don't want them to to uh, reveal um if any other spider-men are in it look we all know it's unofficially confirmed there are still people saying that uh Toby and Andrew aren't for sure and look i get it that we haven't seen them and everyone has denied it so far but look there's there there there's just no fucking way so look in the trailer we all know what happened at the end of uh far from home uh mysterio reveals the identity um to the world spider-man's peter parker and and uh, you know they've been in the trailer we, we, we see him dealing with this he's being questioned by the police people think he's a menace people think he killed mysterio because that's what mysterio said in his final in his final message is mysterio really dead Oof. Who knows? I don't know. Um, I, 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 I guess he is because the, the police were talking as if he was that, but I don't know how he got that final message out. I don't know. He's Mysterio. He he, 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 he pulled some cards. He did, he did something. He did, he did something like that. So, regardless, who knows if he's dead? But what he did has already been done. The wheels are set in motion, and his life is life's pretty much ruined. Everyone knows. Went to high school. Everyone's looking at him. Everyone's like, "Holy shit, that's Spider Man!" He killed Mysterio because everyone's seen that. Everyone believes him because why wouldn't they? Because people don't know Mysterio was like a villain who was like super deceptive. People just don't know that. So, poor Peter Parker, you know, poor Spider Man. So he uh, goes to uh, Doctor Strange to ask him to cast a spell to make everyone forget that uh to make the whole world forget that uh that that he is spider-man and wong a character from you know from from the dr strange universe and dr strange movie uh he you know he he in the trailer he he's seen uh with with, uh with with suitcases packed he's going off somewhere and he's telling uh strange to not do the spell because it's too dangerous and you know strange is like okay, i'm not gonna do it and then he and when swan goes through the portal dr strange winks at spider-man and so and they go they go into the basement they, they do the spell and then peter's all like whoa wait so uh, ned's gonna forget mj my aunt uh, all those people and then i'm uh that's while strange is doing the spell and strange is like oh stop talking 
And I guess that, that's how he messed it up. Which is by talking and, and, and interrupting the spell. I, I suppose. That, uh, that That's what I'm led to. Uh, that's what everyone's led to guess. Unless something else somehow happened that they just didn't show. Because you know movies with their little fancy editing tricks. Who, know, who knows what they did. Because that's what it is. They, they always want to make you think something. When that's not the case. You know just like oh this is what's going to happen. That's it's, it's, it's how to throw you off you know. So. He does that, and then just goes, and then Doctor Strange just goes into a monologue about how we we've un we opened the universe, and the universe uh, was something that uh, that's been recently been a amping up. They uh, like like it, it officially opened in Loki and the show, but I haven't watched it, so I don't know all the logistics about that. Uh, cause I, I I I might watch it at some point, um, especially now that it's so I can see, learn more about the multiverse and how that works. Cause I've been uh lacking i never watched i still haven't watched even wandavision i don't know i'm definitely gonna skip out on falcon or Win winter soldier i don't really care but wandavision and loki look cool maybe, maybe. I, I, I just don't care for bucky he's never i mean sam wilson's cool i do like him i'd, I'd, I'd maybe be interested if it was just i, mean, uh, I don't know i, I just just seems kind of boring. I, I, I don't care. I've never cared for Bucky, that whole storyline. But may, 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 maybe it's worth watching. Who knows? Uh, but regardless. Regardless. So, you know, in the, the, the universe is is, uh, is opened up. Then it's just a sequence of, of Peter in, in all these places. Um, and we get several villain reveals. So we clear as day. See, uh, see, de definitely Electro. We don't see him, but we see his electricity, and that's Jamie Foxx's Electro from the uh, Amazing Spider-Man universe. Uh, so that's fucking awesome just to see him back. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, find, I'm trying to find the right way to, to to structure this like i don't know i don't know if, if i want to go through like what we saw in the trailer and then go through like uh like the, like the small details that most people or that a good amount of people probably missed um or or, 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 or if i want to do it completely like in chronological order or if, hmm. let me think about how i want to do this well I'll, I'll just go with everything that was obvious in the trailer uh so so we, we we definitely see a a little bit of electro um in one scene and then uh there's a part where where the screen goes black um well you know you know you know that whole move uh in, in dr strange in in dr strange where i'm uh where uh, like like the great one or whatever her name was like like that one like uh the one like monk or like um spell cast or whatever their official term is she she kind of she kind of gave off monk vibes a monk a monk i think i'm saying it weird a monk hmm i don't know kind of hmm. well but but like, you, you know you know you know that whole move where where she uh where, where i mean strange can do it too you know or, or they, they they just they they put their palm into someone and like their soul exits their body it's like it's like the you, you, you know what I'm talking about? God, I'm so fucking bad at this. I get so mad. I get so frustrated. I need to be better with this shit. <sighs> so, but you know what I'm talking about? There, there, there's, there's, there's a part in the movie where fucking where where uh, Strange does that to Spider Man, and we don't know why. Who, who knows why? And in that scene, Peter, he he was he he had some kind of like like he had some kind of box in his hand. Um, it was probably some kind of item that he, uh, I mean, it, it, it looked like some kind of device. It was probably just something he wasn't supposed to have. Maybe he was trying to open up more multiverses. Who, who knows what he's trying to do, All right? What the fuck? And then and the screen goes, oh, 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 and, 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 and then it goes to a, a bridge that is clearly being destroyed. And then we, we see a, a green goblin, like gas bomb or whatever it is, um, uh, roll onto the bridge. Um... And I thought we see we, we don't we don't see Green Goblin, but we see his bomb, and then and, and then the screen goes black, and you can hear Doctor Strange, which everyone's assuming is Doctor Strange because it sounds like him, but people are like, oh, it's someone else, but it's pretty clearly Doctor Strange, um, and, and then it's him saying, "Be careful what you wish for, Parker," and then uh, and then on on the same bridge, we we see we see the fucking uh, Doc Ock, 
Um, we, 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 we see the Doc Ock uh, robot arms come under the bridge. And then we see uh, Alfred Molina as Doc Ock. And he, he, he comes up on the screen. And he just says, hello, Peter. And then that's the trailer. So the 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 only villain that 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 we officially like like that that we like officially saw like, like we saw like his face and everything was was uh, Doc Ock Alfred uh, Molina and we 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 known for a minute that that uh, him and Jamie Fox were were uh, were confirmed because they they uh, they both uh, just came out and said that they were going to be in it. Um, I don't know if they were supposed to. I don't know if they um uh, just were like oh yeah I'm in this I'm going to be in this by the way and I don't know how well surprise was supposed to be kept. I don't know if it was some kind of like marketing strategy, like like you know you know how the whole Tom Holland leaks everything. I feel like the, like the first time maybe the first like couple times it was genuine, um, but I feel like I like I feel like because like, it's happened several times with him, so I feel like it turned into like a like a like like a marketing employee. Like oh my god, Tom Holland accidentally did it again. So I don't know if if Alfred Molina and Jamie Fox accidentally revealing it was you know I don't know if it was like a oops on purpose or if it was like oh yeah we can. We can just talk about this, or or if they genuinely just like um uh, you know talked about it when they weren't supposed to. Either way, we knew that they were going to be in it. We didn't know about Green Goblin. Those rumors started to come in like a little later, but like there was never any kind of official confirmation. But we always had official confirmation with uh with uh with Alfred and uh and Jamie Fox. So I, I I yeah, but we didn't get to see Jamie Fox. We 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 didn't get to like physically like see him. We we just saw his uh his. It's electricity, which is different than his electricity in the uh, in the Amazing Spider-Man Two, because his was blue, but I know it was clearly like yellow. So people are saying it's more comic book accurate, which is which is cool. There were some there were some supposed uh, leaked photos of uh, uh, of pictures of a uh, of uh, Alfred Molina, Jamie Foxx, and uh, Willem Dafoe as Green Goblin, like on set supposedly. I mean, it, it, they weren't set pictures it, it, it looks like it's in the movie um i i, I saw that being posted and i mean it, it it looks legit um i'm not gonna put it on i guess i will so you can know what i'm talking about if you're watching this on youtube you'll, you'll, you'll see what i mean let me let me save the image let me let me show you so it's a bit more visual i need i need to be prepared for stuff like this i wasn't i wasn't expecting this to be fair but i want this to i want to be able to explain better Oh, did the did the image not come up? Hold up. Skip. I'm gonna get it here. I'm gonna get it here, I promise. Oh shit. Wait, did I get it? No, I didn't get it. Alright, I'm close, I'm close. I, I I want you to see the image I'm talking about, alright? Oh, I saw it for a second. What's going on here? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. All right. I, I I have to take a screenshot of the image on Twitter. This is okay. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. filler, filler. This, this this is just filler. And so I've only seen this posted like a few times, but I mean, it it, it looks completely real to me. Maybe I'm just believing something. I shouldn't like you. Hey, look, like look at this right here. This is what I'm talking about. This, this is this is the image that uh that that I saw and like. I, I, I haven't even checked if it, I haven't even fact checked f for this yet, but I'm just assuming this is real. I mean, look at the thing at Doc Ock. I mean, look at him. I mean, he, he definitely looks much more older. He, he has the thing in his back. It looks real. I mean, then you, you have a yeah, you you have Willem Dafoe right there. Um, I, I didn't get the full screenshot, but uh, I I didn't, I didn't get I didn't screenshot the full picture, but uh, at the bottom you can see uh. Of the full image, you, you can see a little bit of of of, of the of the Green Goblin suit of, of like that like metallic green, and he looks older. Um, I don't. Know, this actually might be fake. Now I'm really looking at it, but but let's take this with a grain of salt. Let's take this image with a grain of salt. Jamie Fox, he uh, does not have the whole fucking like um uh, nerd look like he did in Spider Man Two. That was pretty corny. I won't lie. Uh. That, 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 that was my thing. I, I look. I think the Amazing Spider-Man is a great movie. The first one is really great. The, the second one, it's really good. I, I, I very much so enjoy it. 
but um uh but the the villains were kind of rough into uh it wasn't the fact that it was electro it was just the way they did him the way that they explained him like this like um uh like, oh, like oh he's he's like this corny nerd whatever but if that image is real um it's it looks like it's going to be uh, a much better version because remember these are alternate versions of these villains because because doc ock he he dies and uh the, at, and and at the end of spider-man 2 in the uh you know the, in the toby mcguire movie part of the sam raimi sam raimi rami raimi trilogy i think it's raimi sam raimi sam raimi you know what i'm talking about so remember these the, the are these are alternate versions okay because the electro is different with his electricity doc ock is back so which means that it's a different toby Maguire universe i don't know i don't know i don't know how the i don't know how all the uh, logistics of it are gonna be of course they'll explain it but like we didn't see toby Maguire and andrew garfield in this movie do i believe they're in this movie 100 percent. i think it's unofficially confirmed um it's just dude Come on, come. <sighs> just come on. It it, it it it's just happening. It, it it it's just something like if you know, like you, I I just, I just have a feeling like there's, there's no way it isn't. And I and I get that 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 no one it can. Uh, I understand that, like me just saying that isn't gonna do anything for anyone. Um, because they're gonna be like, oh, like you you're you're just, you're just guessing. I'm like, but like, I know it's true. I'm telling you. I promise you they're in this. I absolutely promise you they're in this. All right. So let's let's backtrack a little bit. I want to talk about a couple things. There is another. Uh, there there are a couple other hidden characters in this trailer. Um, if you'll watch, if you watch it, there is a scene where, uh, it, it's, it's, this, this, this part's literally like a second, two seconds long, where Tom Holland, where he is standing there, and then a, a portal opens up behind him, and you can clearly see, um, uh, um, something taking, like, a, like, like a swipe or attack at him, and you, you can hear it, and it, it, it makes some kind of, uh, like, some kind of like growling noise or some kind of weird noise like that it sounds like it sounds like it looks like either venom or the lizard and again this is all theory we don't we don't know for sure what that what that creature or villain was yet um i think it's most likely lizard because i don't think that they're gonna put because if they're gonna put venom in this movie or if they're gonna introduce venom to the mcu and like in any kind of way or with tom you know right they would do the uh, the tom hardy one right you know the, the tom hardy uh uh venom but i don't know i i i i i i feel like i feel like uh we would know if they were gonna put those two universes together i don't know i i i, I just i just don't see it as uh as being likely but i don't know a lot, a lot of people are, are confidently saying that it's the lizard, you know, from 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 the Amazing Spider-Man universe, which would make sense, because we 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 have we're gonna have two villains from uh from the uh, Tobey Maguire movies. We're gonna have uh, at least one, but it's looking like it's gonna potentially be two from the Amazing Spider-Man movie, and then we're gonna have a uh, two from the uh, Tom Holland universe, which would be forming the Sinister Six. That's that's come on. That's what they're going towards. The Sinister Six. Come on, so, so we 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 for sure have a uh, Green Goblin, Doc Doctor Octopus, uh, Electro, and those. Okay, th those are the only three officially confirmed. But um, it's most like there's most likely going to be Scorpion because if you remember, um, uh, from one 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 of the Spider Man, uh, I think it was for, it was either Homecoming or Far From Home. I'm pretty sure it was Homecoming. There is a post credit scene where uh, Michael Keaton, who played the Vulture in Homecoming, there is a scene where he is talking to someone in cell, and and they uh, they they, uh, they set it up to be, uh, um, th th they, you know they they I can't I can't I haven't seen the scene I can't remember if they just like implied it or heavily or j if they heavily implied it or just outright said that um uh, he's the f mother f the fucking uh, uh lizard. Lizard, what am I talking about? Scorpion. God, get it together. Get it together. All right. 
So it's most likely going to be Lizard. And we don't know who the other villain from Tom Holland Universe is going to be. Is it going to be Mysterio? Where's Mysterio? Or, or, um, or he dead? Is he officially dead? Is, is, is Vulture going to come back? Even though um, uh, I think like it, you know, Peter tried to say it. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know who it's going to be, but it's looking like I'm assuming it's going to be two from each universe. That's what it seems to be so far. That's, that's what it's looking like. Um, I don't know. Either way, it's a Sinister Six. Now I'm thinking about it. It, re it really could be. It really could be Venom. Because the because Venom won't there be Carnage. It, it it comes out in October, which is before um, No Way Home, and they could potentially hint at it, or uh, or, or or confirm it or something like in the, maybe like a post credit scene, or something in the Venom movie. I don't know. Venom. Well, he's an anti hero. Pretty much like 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 Venom. He's not like an he's not like a, he's not like a, like a legitimate villain. So why would he fight Spider? Maybe, maybe it's maybe it'll be a Tom Hardy, um, uh, Venom, but it won't be the one from uh, the current Venom movies. It'll be like an alternate one. I don't know. I I, th I think I think it has to be Lizard. I, I I think Venom is highly unlikely. I think it's highly unlikely, but we we, we just can't say for sure because the figure, the uh the, the shadowy figure, it was very it was it was very bulky. Like he definitely looked like he had like the, like the back muscles. And like so the whole back structure of venom but uh L lizard could have that too and he wasn't like super like buffer built in the amazing spider-man but remember these are alternate versions of these uh you know of these villains so all rules are off it, you know it, it can be them it can be like the same actor but it's not going to be the same version so that's something also very important uh, to keep in mind i think so going back a little bit we toby and andrew when they're in it it's they're i don't know i don't think they're they might imply it a little bit in one of the trailers i hope to god that they don't actually show one of them in any of the trailers i hope that's like a like a complete surprise for uh for the movie when it comes out i mean look the movie is uh it's it's in december it's august there are most definitely going to be some like some more leaks i don't know how for real they're going to get i hope there aren't any leaks just because i'll be extremely tempted to look at them um but if, if leaks come out where it's like oh oh here, here's toby mcguire and andrew in the movie like i'm, I'm not gonna look uh if, if i if i see it against my will um then that would suck um so i i, I hope that i'm uh there, there's no leak where, 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 where we actually like, see them in the movie or anything. I want that to be a complete surprise. So, Sony, please don't show them the trailer. Okay, please don't. Please, please do not actually show them. And please, please, I... Please try and pre prevent it from getting leaked. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think that's possible. Because everything leaks. It doesn't matter how big of a company you are. Like... You would think that that they'd be able to prevent prevent a leak, but I I, I don't know. I guess uh, hackers and, and leakers. Um, I don't know. There, there are people who are very skilled in doing that and who are able to uh, you know get this. And there are also like um, employees from the inside who sometimes do that. So and this is obviously something very anticipated, and someone's gonna want to get uh, the scoop on it. So I feel like there's almost certainly gonna be a huge leak uh, about that. Maybe like it's like a scene's gonna leak or like. An, like there were there were supposed a couple supposed on set photos of Andrew and Toby that I saw, um, but they they really don't look that legit. I was looking back on them earlier, and they honestly don't look real. Um, but ooh, what do I know? I just don't want their in movie uh, appearance to be spoiled at all. Like I wouldn't be hurt if if I, if I saw like like um hunt, like confirmed photos of them on set and their Spider Man suits just like in the actual movie itself. I don't want to see anything. I also don't want to see any sets and I I also prefer not to see any pictures of them on set because like while I do personally believe that is unofficially uh, confirmed again that that's just my personal belief since that's obviously it's not a hundred percent confirmed but I I, I believe it's I, I I would bet legitimate money uh on it so you know that's that but i just want to i want it to be completely fresh but we'll see i'll try and i'll try and avoid it um but it's tempting because like when you want a movie 
like when, when you want to see like a movie like so bad and even though it's not that far away like it's it's this year so like it's not like it's going to be that crazy of a wait but it's just, it's just hard it's it's on it's honestly pretty hard to it'll be hard if something comes up but i'll I'll, test myself. I'll uh have to it'll, it'll be a test of my strength let's go back a little bit though in the trailer um, here's why I think it's also confirmed that there's uh, that other Spider-Man will be in this, um, because I think you can see one in the trailer. Um, here's my thing. In uh, you're better off watching like a, like a trailer analysis or, or or like pausing it on your own. But um, in one in, in one of the very in one of like the two very brief scenes where you can see uh, Electro's electricity. Uh, that there there are there are there are a few frames where you can see Tom Holland Spider Man being um uh, um being uh, attacked and he's being like launched into the air by uh by what what looks like Electro's uh electricity you know like he caused some kind of explosion he sent Tom Holland Spider Man flying and when you if you zoom in you can see that Tom Holland that you can see that he is in a gold and black suit and we know that's him because there have been some uh, leaked toys and merchandise and one and one of them that people have seen a lot has been um uh tom holland in in a uh, in a black and gold suit so we know that we know for sure that that's tom holland and it's you know it's it's a it's a new suit which is cool but in that scene where he's being knocked back you can uh if you get at the right frame and you zoom in and it's clear enough if you get a if you're not watching like 240p uh you can see what is like undeniably um uh sandman pretty much in front of me you, you can definitely see a, a very uh a sandy what's what's where to look at this pretty much you can see sandman you can pretty clearly see sandman um from 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 what it looks like i'd, I'd be surprised if he isn't in this because it looks it looks so much like him i mean come on come on you're you're gonna have to look into uh you you you'll you, you have to see it. You'll you'll have to for sure see it. All right. Um, see the trailer to know what I'm talking about. So, but I don't think if Sandman is back, I don't think he's gonna be a villain. Okay, because I think I think I don't think we're gonna have three villains from the from the fucking you know Toby Toby uh, Maguire universe, right? But literally, I don't know. Uh, because if if you see the end of Spider Man three, remember I'm a uh, Sandman and Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man, they they uh, made peace because you know Sandman was the one who killed Uncle Ben, but it was like an accident, and you know Tobey uh, forgave him, and then he then he went off. But so that's my reason for thinking that he won't be a villain. But but also also, as these are alternate versions, so well, while while he isn't dead, so it, it it could be also it also could be the Sandman from. Uh, from uh from the uh sam raimi universe you know it very well could be and, and, and he, he, he could just be like a part of the movie but definitely not part of the sinister six if it's the same one but if it's a different one then he could be a, a villain but like three from the mcguire universe and also that then there's a you know and we, we definitely have electro and um most likely lizard but then and i mean there's only gonna be one villain from uh tom holland's universe that doesn't seem likely to me so I think Sandman will be in it, just not as a villain. These are also my personal predictions. Um, okay, it's definitely Sam. It's definitely fucking Sandman. I'm sorry. It's 100. percent I I I I I just looked at a frame. 100 percent Sandman's in this. So I don't think he'll be a villain. I don't think he'll he'll be a villain in the movie. And also, in those couple frames. In those couple frames. Um, if you go back and see in the bottom left, in the bottom left, there is pretty clearly, uh, a red pair of gloves in the dark and, and, uh, and, uh, part of like, a part of like, you, you can see part of his red mask. All right. Let me, let me, let me, let me pull up an image. Let me, let me make this a visual thing again. selected area i'm just gonna i'm just getting it all from twitter fuck it 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to delete all this too when I'm done. Yeah, screenshot Twitter. Check this out, guys. Look at this. This is crazy. It actually is though. Like, look at this. All right, you see. So you, you can see, you, you can see Electro is. Uh, you, you can see Electro's um, electricity, obviously. And look at that. Look at that right there. That is Sandman, clearly, like, like protecting him. Um, make sure I'm not clicking off. Uh, look, look at that. It, I, I think he's protecting him. I, I, I think he's gonna be. I think he's gonna be a hero. I think, I, I think he's going to be a. You know, he's, he's, he's gonna be a little bit of a hero on that. And, and then look. Look at the bottom left. It, th this frame isn't the best, but like, look at that. You can kind of see that, that those uh, splashes like like red. And and and, and, if, and if you watch, if you watch the actual trailer and, and see that and see those like few frames play out, you can clearly see that 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 that, that like uh, it's like it's it's like uh, a pair of hands and a head falling back with it. And right there, in, in front of Sandman, we can see Tom Holland Spider Man. So this is like confirmed. This is there's literally two Spider Mans. Look at that. That that that's fucking. That's another Spider Man. Now the question is, is that Andrew Garfield's or is it Tobey Maguire's? My bet, honestly, I I feel I feel like it's Electro. I feel like this is uh or Electro. I mean that is Electro right there. But I feel like I feel like this part is gonna be uh Andrew Garfield Spider Man. Uh, I mean it could be either because if if it's the same man from the Tobey Maguire universe, then maybe that's Tobey Spider Man, but. Personally, I, I I don't know. For some reason, my 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 gut and intuition is just telling me that it's uh, that it's Andrew Garfield right there. But that's just a personal prediction. Obviously, if I something I'm going with, with 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 my gut and just my guess, but I don't know because I I I, just, I feel like Electro is the main perpetrator of uh of this like of of this scene. It feels like since he's a villain. But could he be? Could he might be a villain? I'm trying to think. I don't. It, it looks like he's being protected. I, I, it's genuinely really hard to tell, and I'm I'm not trying to speak like 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 I know for sure. I mean, it's, it, that's what it sounds like. But I'm I'm just speaking my my personal prediction and what and what it looks like to me. Because if Samman's a villain, it just, it just Samman just doesn't make sense. Because I, I can have room for everyone else. <sighs> Look at that though. So, my thing is. Another prediction of mine. I feel like the mo there's gonna be like three, um, uh, like w when it comes to like uh, the other Spider Men, I feel like it's going there's it's gonna be like it's gonna be broken down into like, like the three segments. Not not like the whole movie, but like I feel like the parts that involve the other Spider. -Man, I think there's gonna be a segment where um uh, like a, a portion of the movie where where it's just uh Tom Holland with uh, Andrew Garfield, whether he's in his universe like doing something, helping him, like with, with like a, like Electro or whatever. Um, whatever whatever the situation is gonna be, I feel like there's gonna be another another part uh, where it's just Tom Holland and Tobey Maguire uh, together. Whether it's like fighting off like 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 that that bridge scene, uh, that that bridge scene that has uh, you know, because because the settings are clearly are clearly very different from you know from like from like Electro and Sandman um, compared to the Doc Ock and Green Goblin scene because. Electro and Sandman, that's clearly at night. That's that's not near a bridge. Um, and then this and this fucking uh, Green Goblin and Doc Ock thing, it's, it's on a bridge and during the daytime. So I definitely think that um, uh, the whole bridge scene, uh, I think I feel like it's going to be... Uh, I don't know I don't know whose universe will be in who, because I, I don't know I don't know if like um uh, if Toby's gonna travel um uh, to Tom Holland's universe or if Tom Holland's gonna go to his. I don't know if Doc Ock and Green Goblin are... are um, uh, going from um, their respective universe into the Spider-Man's universe, or if um, Spider-Man are going into the villain's universe, I don't know. I, 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 I don't I don't know who's going who. I don't know who's I don't know who's coming to who. I don't know who's, you know, I don't know what universe is hosting what. Pretty much, obviously, I, I really don't have a prediction because it, it could be anything. I have no idea what that's going to be, but I think that that bridge scene. Um, I, I think that I think that that bridge scene is gonna be Tobey Maguire and uh, Tom Holland like like fighting them off. That's gonna be awesome. How's that gonna be introduced? Is, is it gonna be like um, uh, is Tom Holland going gonna be 
um, just, just like like fighting one of them in it, and like Tom McGuire is gonna like um uh, come out of nowhere and help, or is Toby Ori gonna be there fighting them? Is Tom Holland gonna do? I don't know. The possibilities are that, that that's what I love. That's that's what I love about this. Like it it could be a complete surprise. We don't know how it's gonna happen. And uh, the the part in the trailer where Doc Ock says hello, Peter, people um uh, are are very much so think that uh he was saying it to Toby McGuire, um. I mean, I, I, I could, I, I could, I, I can see why, because he, people are saying that he, uh, he said it as if, like, he knew who he was talking to, like, he, you know, he knew how, you know, like, he was very familiar with, with the, uh, with who it was, which, yeah, what could be the case, or, or, or maybe, maybe it was just Tom Holland, maybe he saw the Spider-Man too, and he's like, oh, that's Peter Parker, because of the Spider-Man so there's no other Spider-Man, there's no, you know, there's no other Spider-Man, but, what the... I'm just rattling off all the possible uh, outcomes and possible possibilities. Because after he says that, it, it jump cuts to uh, Tom Holland um, in a suit, sitting on a car on the bridge, and he transforms. He transforms into a Spider-Man suit. So the uh, the trailer is definitely it's leading you to think that um, uh, he was talking to Tom Holland, and Tom Holland gets in his suit. You know, right after he says that, but that's a pretty clear adding trick. It, it it didn't look natural. That did not look. It didn't. It, it didn't look like like um uh, he was talking to Tom Holland. It didn't look like that was a response to what Doc Ock said. I get that's what they want you to. That's kind of what they're trying to make you think. But ugh, I I just I really don't think so. That doesn't make sense to me. So personally, I definitely do think that he was talking to Tobey Maguire. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna do it. I don't know if Toby's gonna come in and help save uh Andrew or <laughs> me. I don't know if Toby's gonna come in and save Tom Holland. I think that's likely, but I, I'm, I'm really thinking about how it's gonna happen because you know, Green Goblin also died in uh, Spider-Man One, so it was going to who? You know, there are, there are a couple things that I don't want to see personally that I'm kind of worried about. But if this happened, this wouldn't ruin it all because regardless, if they're if they're in it, they're in it anyways, and that's still like a huge deal. So Alfred Molina, um. He's 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 you can you can tell you can tell that 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 uh he's meant to look much younger than he is right now because he's almost like seven you can you can tell that he's clearly he's a uh, de-aged um you know kind of like with the Samuel Jackson and Captain Marvel he's definitely de-aged like he I mean he, he, he looks super he, he looks young he looks he looks really good and uh you know in the trailer but peace and love he's not that young he's like he, like I said, he's almost seventy so. It doesn't look like that naturally, so that's, that's what they're doing with that. Um, I I don't I don't know. Are, are they gonna de-age Willem Dafoe? But he's always kind of he's going he's kind of always had that that like that old man look to his face. Like he's, I feel like he m mostly looks the same now like he did um in the first movie. I mean he is a little more older, but like I, I feel like they don't need to de-age him. I I I, re I really don't think they uh, need to de-age Willem Dafoe. Uh, but they might, I don't know, we, we, we haven't seen him, we've only seen Doc Ock, and it's making me worried that they might de-age, um, I don't, I don't, I don't have a problem with them de-aging, uh, any of the villains, cause the villains are alternate, but, like, I really hope that, uh, Tobey Maguire doesn't get de-aged, he, he's not, he's not that old, um, he's only, like, 40-something, he's, 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 he looks good for his age, he's not old and wrinkly, I mean, sure, he's not, he's not, like, young high schooler Tom Holland's better, but by any means you can, he'd definitely be, um, uh, a, a, a notably older spider-man but like not like too old you know that's my thing i think he'll be like an older more 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 mature spider-man i really hope they go with that there's i don't think i don't think they'll dh toby that's completely unnecessary but maybe maybe, but maybe they'll they'll be going to like the alternate universe where i'm uh where we're, we're like we're like we're like toby uh is young and he's fighting doc ock and uh green goblin like 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 when they're uh you know, like 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 when they're still fair, fairly young too. I don't know. I don't know how they plan on doing it. But yeah, there, there's no way they'll DH change your girlfriend. He's only thirty something. There's there's no way. I can guarantee. I I I have absolutely no worries that he'll be DH. I don't know why I don't, I don't want to see him DH. I don't know. I, I again, it wouldn't bother me. I, there probably there probably are some people that would definitely. Uh, you know that, that you know that would maybe want to see him age, but I just really don't. You know, I want to see him how he's looking now. Oh, I got a voicemail. Let me from Lancey. What? Who's this? Hello. 
Nope. I have nothing to do with that. I don't know anything about financial relief. I didn't sign up for any kind of financial relief. What the... What the hell, man? I saw someone text me a little while ago. How did I not see? Well, regardless. And, okay, so, like I said... Well, I, 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 need, I, need, I need to backtrack a little bit, man. So, like I said, so I, I, so I said that I think that there's going to be a segment where Tom Holland is with uh, each Spider-Man separately. And the third part, I, I, I think it's going to be all of them together, all three of them together, officially, you know, take, taking down the, the Sinister Six. Like, I feel like they're all going to form because, yeah. I think, I think uh, like, like a set of villains is going to be introduced individually, like, like either like two or one at a time, and then like uh, the big scene, like where they all, where they all like uh, fight together, is going to be against all three, going to be against all three Spider Men. I think that's how it's most definitely going to happen. There's, there's no way you can't get them all three on screen at the same time. That's kind of like that's, kinda, that's, that's like like the big thing. Like, it's one thing ha- like having both of them in the movie, but like having them all three together, that that that's like. That's like what fans want to see the most, and I'm I'm not trying to be picky. Whatever they give, um, I'm down. Hypothetical. I'm not I'm not trying to put this out there, but even if Toby and Andrew weren't in the movie, which like I said, un- un- unofficially, un- unofficially, officially confirmed. Regardless, we are going to be getting uh, ties and references to their universes. So no matter what, we're we're, we're going to be getting their villains, which is just fucking awesome in and of itself. And but but you know, and to put Toby and Andrew, dude. Like Spider Man, ca- call me basic. I don't, I don't give a shit that he's the most popular hero, like ever or whatever. But Sp- Spider Man is my favorite hero. I mean, just from 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 all the movies, which they're all they're all great. All the amazing video games, um, you know, the comics. It's just, it's, you know, e- you know, from 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 like the, from like the Tobey Maguire uh, movie games. You know, like Spider Man one two, like you know, like the like the movie the movie brain games. The amazing Spider-Man games, the 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 PS4 game, the Miles Morales. I mean, everything Spider-Man is just absolute killer. I've been watching these movies and enjoying them since I was a kid. I I, I grew up watching the Sam Raimi trilogy. Um, I I fucking love the amazing Spider-Man movies, despite the the, the hate and underappreciation they get. But I, I've seen I've seen a, a growing appreciation for Andrew Garfield and how good he is, and I'm glad to see that. Cause like I I get it I I get it too. Amazing Spider-Man 2, that was the weakest movie in the franchise, in the whole Spider-Man film franchise. But even at that, it's still a good movie, I think. I don't think it's bad. I don't think there is a bad Spider-Man movie. I, I, would, I, would, I, I still rate Amazing Spider-Man 2 uh, fairly highly. I, I mean, it's it's not like a 10 out of 10. or I don't know what number I'd rank it, but all I know is that I really like it. And, you know, obviously, like, Top to- to- is my favorite. And people like, oh, it's because nostalgia's like... Well... Yeah, obviously, pe- people's favorite are are often not always, but often going to be the thing that they grew up on. It's what they have the most uh, connection and emotional ties to. So, like, yeah, it makes sense. Th- there's no definitive best Spider-Man. We all just think we we all have our favorites, and that's that. I I I I, I, I fucking hate this debate. I, I I hate like debates about super mundane things like that. It's like <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying to sound like some like some elitist. Okay, but like. How much time do you have to have on your on your hands? And look, I, I I'm a fucking bum, okay. I'm lazy more often like than I should be, and I, and I you know, <laughs> I indulge in childish, mundane things sometimes. But it's like you guys really spend your time arguing about which Spider Man, but like, like just like who you like. There there, no, there's not there's never gonna be some kind of like there's not gonna be some kind of like definitive conclusion you're gonna come to like. You, you, at the end of the day, you're still gonna like your Spider-Man the best, and there's no definitive best, okay? Why do people argue this? Just like who you like and appreciate the other Spider-Man because they're all incredible. I, I, you know, I've seen a lot, like a lot of fan, like a lot of really strange, strangely obsessed uh, Tobey Maguire fanboys who're like, ah, Tom Holland's terrible. It's like, dude, have you seen Homecoming? Far from Home, they're amazing. He is a great Spider-Man, and. Like, you know, while I do prefer Toby, um, Andrew versus Tom Holland, I don't know. That, that that's the that's the one I, I'd, I'd have to think about a lot. But like you, you do have to acknowledge that, that Tom Holland definitely is uh, is like the the most uh, realistic Peter Parker. He, he's like he's definitely like uh, looks and feels like the youngest. Um, you do have to appreciate that he is definitely um, uh, he's he's a lot more comic book accurate in that regard. 
Like, I mean, you gotta love it, dude. You gotta love Far From Home, and Homecoming. They, they are, they're, they're amazing movies. I don't, I don't know. They're all great Spider-Man movies. I don't, I, I don't get it. Just, uh, man, children on the internet. What are you gonna do? I guess I'm indulging by talking about it, but I'm, I'm disavowing the, I'm disavowing the, uh, the debate. All right, they're all great. All right, I mean, I have my personal favorite, but they're all amazing. Uh, so yeah, pretty much like I said, I, I've 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 been a fan of Spider-Man since I was a kid, and I still am today. I I I, I replayed through uh, um, the PS4 Miles Morales game just like a couple months ago. Um, like both of them again, just phenomenal games. Spider-Man um, brings me uh, a joy all the time. I I rewatched like literally all the Spider-Man movies uh a few weeks uh like a couple months ago as well i i every few months i i, I go on a, a spider-man kick where, where, where like i rewatch all the movies I, I replay through uh several of the games and i i just i just kind of do it over, over a period of like a of like a couple of weeks and then i'm like all right and then it literally it's like a cycle and then i do it again in like a few months like i i just i i i've done it like twice already this year i'm probably gonna do it um uh like later again at the end of the year i'm gonna watch all the movies i'll definitely be watching all the movies and uh before December, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna do everything. I'll play through the fucking games, but mainly I'll be watching the movies, all the movies again, without a doubt, to get prepared for December seventeenth. Um, but just it, just to be able to see all these uh, all, all these Spider Man and all these villains and all these universes that I've been seeing for years that I never would have thought to actually. Be, I mean, we've all had the fantasy for years of like, oh, imagine having all three Spider Man and the IRL Spider Verse, like. I would hear this, you know, I, I'd hear like this, like this cool fan theory and idea thrown around for years. And every time I, I'd hear it, I'd be like, oh, imagine, but I never entertain it. Cause I'm like, I'm not gonna get my hopes up for nothing. Cause like the chances of, of them actually doing like something like that the fans want so bad, like the, uh, <laughs> I, I could just never imagine them actually doing it. And now that it's literally, it's going to happen. That's my mind's blown. I never would have thought for this to happen. It's insane. And I am just super happy that it's literally going to happen. Oh, well, you're jinxing. No, look, when the movie comes out, you'll, you'll you'll see. I'm calling it. I mean, they're not officially. I get it. But, dude, come on. Stop it. And I was watching. I, I, I just saw this. I just saw this little clip. Um, uh with uh jb smooth who is in who, who's in uh far from home he, he's one of like spider he's one of like the high school teachers or like trip uh counselors or whatever right um i i just saw this thing from uh two days ago um yeah i saw a tweet earlier from two days ago where is this interviewer who, who was asking jb smooth who is a it's a who hilarious guy great, great great comedian great actor great you know um so, so someone someone asked him like oh like uh which villain he's most excited to see and uh and he said and he said he said jamie fox is electro and then he excited and, oh i can play the clip for you you can you can, you can hear it right here what's up, man? What's up, man, baby? Oh, what's up jamie that's my dude right there that's my dude right there man i'm excited i'm very excited about it and the last question I have for you, which Spider-Man were you excited to see Tom Holland share the screen with? Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. All right, there you go. Thank you so much, Andy. All right, you heard that? Yeah, so, like, he, he directly asked him, like, which Spider-Man you want to go to see? And, um, uh, he didn't say hypothetically, and J.B. Smooth didn't say hypothetically. I mean, it, it could have been, like, a mistranslation, or, like, a, he, he could have misheard him. He could have, you know, like, maybe, like, J.B. Smooth thought that he said, um, uh, like, like, hypothetically, you know, maybe, I don't know. But all I know is that he asked the question straight up, and he an and JB Smooth answered the question straight up. So I feel like that's also um, uh, a confirmation because he, he, he like he, he wasn't like oh man like if they were to be I would I'd love to see Tobey Maguire. No, he straight up said oh yeah Tobey Maguire. So come on man, come on. <laughs> There's no way it isn't, dude. I swear to God, I promise you. I promise you, say what you want, but I, when I see Tobey Maguire, and when I see Angel Garfield, I'm, 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 I'm gonna cry, tear, like, tear, I, there's gonna, I'm gonna tear up, at the very least, like, of happiness, I'm, I'm, I might legitimately shed a tear or two, 
And I, I, I say that and I'm embarrassed, you know. Say what the say what the fuck you want to your family. That's that's embarrassing, dude. I don't care. I don't care. Just <laughs> this is something I've dreamed about since I was. I mean, I didn't dream about this having since a kid since these Spider Man weren't always out. But like, like I I got I I I I've fantasized and thought about the idea of, of Andrew and Toby just like returning in some capacity for like for like a, a very long time for many of years and the fact that it's gonna happen and I'm gonna see all I'm gonna see like three different versions of my favorite hero that I love I love all edition renditions of editions versions of you know the word I'm trying to say um, or what I'm getting at just to be able to actually see them all three together when I thought this would never happen when I thought it was like a super far-fetched just you know, like fan idea. Of course, everyone would want to see that, but like, really, it's incredible, and it's gonna be the best Marvel movie ever. This is it's gonna be one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm assuming. Um, I, d I definitely think, I, th I think it's gonna be the best MCU. Movie. I think it's gonna be better than Endgame. Like, um, that's just a personal prediction. Um, I mean, I'll go and I'll, I'll be fair. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's the best just because I want it to be, but. I don't know. I have a really good feeling. I I I also I hope it was like three hours long. By the way, um, or, or at least like at least like two and a half or close, because I feel like there's gonna be a lot they're gonna put into this. It's it's gonna be huge. This is this is just gonna be like a giant. Um, this movie gonna be just like like a just like a giant fan service movie. But they're gonna do it right because fan service can be done. Um, because uh, the thing is with fan service. You don't want to to just be just, just just like like blind nostalgia and put it in just for the sake of putting in like 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 Palpatine, for uh, the Rise of Skywalker, that was just I, I, maybe some people liked it, but personally I, I I thought it was super just forced and corny and done horribly. Um, I'd prefer if he didn't. I mean, cause like, I feel like they they did that just to be like oh look like look who's back Emperor Palpatine he's not that like at that point. Just like just bring Darth Vader back, you know, like they should have. I don't, I don't know. The whole thing was weird. I, I really, I genuinely was not a fan of that. But it, it can be done right because it, it would make sense within the context of this, of this movie. Not that it didn't make complete sense, and I don't, I don't remember how he got brought back. I'm, I'm saying like just in case he was brought back in a legitimate way. I just think it was stupid. And I, and I, I like, I, I like, I like, the, and that's not me being like biased or like um uh, hypocritical. Like I. I, I enjoy the Star Wars movies. Um, I enjoyed Pember, I enjoyed Palpatine, you know, the original. Um, I, I enjoyed uh, Force Awakens. Last Jedi wasn't horrible. Um, I don't know. They definitely messed up um, the new trilogy at some point. That, like, Force Awakens was great, but after that, eh. Could have much better. But I digress. Fan service can be done right because, I mean, like, I mean, he's opened up, like, I mean, the, the the multiverse is getting opened up, and this is someone this is someone that has like very like something very real that could happen, and like, I mean, there are other live uh, versions of Spider Man, so it's it, it'd be canon, it'd make complete sense. Um, I mean, hypothetically, you could just get just two random actors to to play versions of Spider Man, because like I'm sure they exist, but like you know, th these are the ones we know, so this makes most sense to go with this, and you know. So it works in that way, and fans get to see all the Spider-Man together, and have it not just be like, uh, oh, here, here, like it's not just like a like a like a sellout, pretty much. Like here's just a nostalgia sellout. Like, it's 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 gonna be some real shit. It's it's gonna be all legit. So, my God, I can't wait. Um, I, th I think I said all I all I have to say. Um, ooh, there are some theories about Doctor Strange, which are interesting. Um, pe people are saying that, uh, Doctor Strange, like, like, seemed off in the trailer. Um, people thought it was weird how he was so willing just to, to do that spell for Peter, even though uh, Wong said it was super dangerous. Um, I feel like that could be true, but also, Doctor Strange is also a typical, he's also, like, a pretty cocky character he's pretty he's kind of arrogant he, th he thinks he's you know like you you've seen in, in dr strange you've seen how like at first and for a while he thought he was he thought he, he had he had a very inflamed ego he thought he was like way better um you know like than he was but like 
I don't, I don't think he saw that in him. Like, he's, I mean, he's Doctor Strange. Like, he's very much in line. He's very much in this life now. So, I feel like, I feel like he wouldn't be, I feel like he's not that, uh, not that arrogant. And, uh, I don't know if he thinks that highly of himself still. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I, don't, I really don't see that. But people are saying that, like, maybe he, um, uh, that Ego and back up after they beat Thanos and, you know, saving the universe, which that also can, can make sense. I don't know, but apparently he also had uh, he had some kind of like like necklace that was holding like the time stone, or it was holding something. Like, if, if you're going to me for specific details, you're you're mistaken. But apparently, like 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 Thanos crushed some kind of like necklace or chain that he was wearing, and he was wearing it in the trailer. And uh, and in, in the in the part where he says uh, "Be careful what you wish for, Parker," people were saying that he did not sound like friendly when saying that, which I I can definitely hear. So people are thinking, or uh, are guessing that that he's like a Mephisto or Mephisto or whatever. Yeah. How do you? How, how how do you say it? Manifesto? No, it's not manifesto. What is it? I'm I'm not I'm not, I'm not that familiar with the character. I've heard the names, but I don't. Yeah, Mephisto. Mephisto is a fictional character appearing in American uh, comic books. Character, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. People are saying the main Doctor Strange is, is like uh, is, is like Mephisto in this, which that, that that's just something that people are saying. I don't know anything about Mephisto except except that he, that he's like a, that he's that he's like a, like like a devil pretty much. He's like the devil of the Marvel universe. So I I literally don't know um how he could be him. Is he like a shapeshifter? I don't know. Like like I'm a Marvel fan, okay, but I don't I don't know everyone, all right? I I, I don't know. I don't know everyone's. So I don't know all the lore, all right? There's a there's a quite a decent bit I don't know, but whatever. Um uh, but also maybe it could be a Doctor Strange from uh from uh, from the multiverse. Maybe the multiverse is already open cuz I I think it is. I don't know where, where Loki fits in with the timeline. But uh, but like it, it was officially lo- like broken into and discovered in Loki, right? That's, you know, so so maybe like it opened and Doctor Strange got into that, uh, got got into Tom Holland's universe, and then like he intention maybe intentionally opened up even more, um, uh, multiverses. That's how we end up getting, you know, all the other villains and the Spider Man. Uh, I don't know. There's definitely something weird going on with Doctor Strange in this movie, clearly. Um, but it, it it could be all for nothing. But I I think people's theories uh, do kind of make sense about it. I, I can see it happening, but also it could, I can see it being played off into something else. Maybe, maybe uh, it really is him, and there's maybe they'll explain why he's uh, why why he still has like that thing that Thanos destroyed, or why he saying that aggressively to parker i don't know i really don't know we'll see but uh so also some of the merch for the movie um uh, like there have been a couple t-shirts um where, where, where the design is like half half of uh the, it, so it's like a face it's like half of spider-man's face tom holland and then half it's dr strange's face so maybe dr strange is going to be in this way more than we think uh Maybe Mysterio is still alive and he's projecting Doctor Strange right now. But you know he, he but no, that doesn't make sense because Doctor Strange did do like, the spells. But then if it's Mephisto, like, do they just know how to do those spells or something? I don't know. I won't be surprised. I, I I can see it also just being the regular Doctor Strange, but there's something. So, so I don't know. They'll, they'll explain everything else. I don't know. I'm spitballing here. I'm, I'm getting all theory down. I'm kind of burning myself out on all the theories already, but. Even if I do brew myself out on this movie and all the hype, I know that, like, when I'm going to that theater in the movie store, I know it'll all be back, so I'm not going to worry about it. Especially coming up to it. Ah. Spider-Man. Uh, one second. Alright, apologies. I'm back. Something came up. Someone called my name, and I, for some reason, OBS, re- it removed, like, the, like, the, rec- like, the pause recording button. I could have just paused that, and we would have been right back in this. I don't know if I need to update it, or maybe I need to go in the settings, but yeah, I, ca- I can't pause it anymore. It's dumb. I don't like it. Well, regardless, I have, uh, said my piece, I think. 
Um, I'll keep talking about this movie as, as more of my thoughts develop and maybe as more information comes out, but I really don't want too much more information. I, I think I think this is honestly enough. Uh, we'll see. If a trailer comes out, it's going to be really hard not to watch. I mean, we, we have the uh, Shang-Chi movie coming out soon. That looks pretty cool. That, that might have like, like some ties to it or maybe might explain some things. Maybe we'll get like a post credit scene explaining something i do want to see that movie too because i'm not familiar with the character and uh i'm interested i'm interested to see it it was probably i've heard, I've heard it's good from like some like the early oh my foot fell asleep big time that's so uncomfortable um so yeah i, I, I really don't know what else to say um i'm gonna go on for an hour 20 that's pretty decent there, were a, there was another topic I wanted to mention, but I'll wait until I get a certain guest on. Because I was originally going to talk about it with him. Then I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it on my own. But I really don't need to. I think that's I think well enough. I've pretty much only talked. This this whole thing has just been about the MCU. That's Or just Spider-Man. That, that's what this title's going to be. I mean, the, I mean, the last one was Zach that I just put up. I mean, I, I have Spider-Man in the thumbnail and title. Um, I have, you know, No Way Home in the thumbnail and title. For that one, it's going to be the same for this one. Fucking, I'm all in for Spider-Man. I'm all, I'm, all, I'm all, I'm all in. I'm hyped. All right, best MCU movie, um, ever, potentially best uh, superhero movie. It's my opinion. It'll be, um, yeah, man. Episode thirty-one. Look at us. Look at us out here. Um, out here crushing it. We should wait until episode thirty-two. Uh, that's gonna be a great one. I hope it is. Well, regardless, my uh my long talk and theories on Spider Man have come to an end. Um that's all. Thanks for watching. Oh shit, my cursor was on the stop recording button, but I moved it. So I wanna end it like as soon as I say goodbye, but sometimes I move my cursor a little bit. I just did it again. I have my I have my mouse in the air. What what what's it what's it moving on? Okay. <laughs> goodbye.